So we're going to take a look at session number two today, the HANA Difference series we're talking about. And uh, we're going to look at the standard way to connect to Crystal Reports Designer and Microsoft Excel to connect those tools to an SAP HANA database that Business One is running on. So let's come out of our little slide presentation here and to get those out of our way. And uh, now what we want to do is switch over to our HANA system. And uh, we have Business One open, of course, here on the screen. But the first thing that we want to do is to open Crystal Reports Designer. I have it in my taskbar down there at the bottom of the screen. And I'm going to open it up. And uh, here we are. Uh, and I always do everything manually, as uh, many of you who have listened to me before and seen some of my demonstrations. I'm not fond of wizards. If there's a manual way to do it, I want to learn that because I don't want to be dependent on a wizard that could break. And if it becomes the only way I know how to do something and it doesn't do what I want to, I, I want to know the manual way to do it. So I always start with a blank report. And when you do that, the first thing that's required usually for a Crystal Reports Designer is that I get a connection. Now you'll notice that um, Crystal Reports Designer remembers up to the, I think it's nine or 10, previous connections, but none of them are live. So every time, if unless I'm still in Crystal Reports Designer from the previous report I created, I always need to create a new one. Now, we used to have to choose a particular connection type for uh, access to the Business One database. But since version 9.2 and patch level 5, the SAP Business One connection works the same for both uh, Microsoft SQL customers and for SAP Business One customers running on HANA. Right? So that's the one I want you to be aware of that they operate the same now. So some have taken my classes and I've told them that, but I've not really demonstrated it in the HANA environment. So that's what we're going to do here today is how does it work? So right across from that SAP Business One, I just clicked on the plus sign and this screen will come up. So you need to know the name of your HANA database server, which in my case is HANA B1. That's pretty standard. Many of our customers that run in the Amazon cloud, that is the name of your server. I need a colon, and I need to know the port number for that particular uh, part of the system, the Business One server, it's called.